ومن آياته أن خلق لكم من أنفسكم أزواجا لتسكنوا إليها لتسكنوا إليها وجعل بينكم مودة ورحمة إن في ذلك لآيات لقوم يتفكرون Through Adil, we call upon values of transformative justice and equality. Through Ihsan, we pursue ethics of beauty, goodness and care. How can we reclaim the beauty and justice of our tradition and explore ways to reflect them in our laws, norms and lived realities? Let's start by opening our hearts to what the Qur'an reveals about one of the most intimate human relationships, marriage. Then do they not reflect upon the Qur'an or are there locks upon their hearts? Five scholars of the Qur'an embarked in this process of deep reflection and engagement with the sacred texts. Umaima Abu Bakr, Asma Lamrabet, Mulki Al-Sharmani, Nur Rufia, and Amira Abu Talib. Until recently, interpreting and understanding the Qur'an was the monopoly of an elite class of religious scholars, all men, who viewed themselves and were regarded as guardians of this knowledge. This past century, a body of literature on women reading the Qur'an is emerging, showing how the Qur'an affirms the equal worth of all human beings, regardless of their gender, class, race, and other distinctions and differences. Musawa is building on this legacy. Join us in this journey to the heart of the Qur'an. What are the Qur'an's teachings on marriage? How can we reimagine Muslim norms on gender and family relations through a perspective that is grounded in Quranic ethics? Umaima Abu Bakr, Asma Lamrabet, and Mulki Al Sharmani tell us the Quran founds marriage on the ontological truth of the equality of human beings in creation. The existence of creatures in equal matching pairs, the affirmation of human plurality, and the responsibility of taqwa expected from every human being. Read together, the verses on marriage convey a central ethical message. Marriage and the resulting family relations are to be grounded in compassion, affection, equal worth, the protection of the vulnerable, justice, generosity, magnanimity, and spiritual growth. How do we center women's experiences in reading the Quran? How can we reshape Muslim norms on gender and family relations through an approach towards the Quran that is grounded in our lived realities? Nur Rofia reminds us, when Umm Salama asked the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, why women are not mentioned in the Quran, she touched upon a critical dimension of the Quranic text. Who is the audience? If women are considered full and equal humans, as well as equal believers, then their experiences need to be explicitly acknowledged by the sacred text. Reciprocity or mutuality is at the heart of the marital bond. In order to honour the solemn bond, to be a clothing for one another, to find tranquility and love and compassion, the spouses need to communicate and seek mutual consent. Bringing this back to women's lived experiences, these Quranic concepts give an example of what a healthy marital relationship should look like. Why is Ihsan so central to the ethical Quranic worldview? What does a family built on the foundations of Ihsan look like? How does Ihsan radiate from the family to the rest of the world? Amira Abu Talib affirms, 
Ihsan as a key Quranic ethical concept can guide every individual in marriage to exercise moral agency and spiritual growth by enacting goodness and beauty. This goodness and beauty necessitates justice and builds upon it towards compassion, graciousness and kindness. Amira Abu Talib explains how Ihsan radiates from the individual to the larger society. She says, the Quran addresses the single soul as the starting point. The soul and its mate produce offspring. This circle grows to include next of kin and goes on to encompass orphans and those who are vulnerable. Guided by a call for Ihsan, these layers produce a ripple effect in which each resonates outward, carrying the beauty and goodness of Husan to the next level. How do we challenge the dominant patriarchal discourse and create one that cherishes beauty, goodness and justice? Do you want to know more about what these scholars have to say about gender and family relations in the Quran? Stay tuned for the publication of our new collected volume. In the meantime, watch our groundbreaking series of webinars featuring the scholars involved in the research initiative Reclaiming Adil and Ihsan in Muslim Marriages Between Ethics and Law.